physical specimen you see before you, Sean Hot Stuff Hernandez, one of the most powerful competitors, one of the most in-demand competitors around these days. Matter of fact, Hot Stuff Hernandez in demand by the folks at All Japan Wrestling. Matter of fact, shortly after this matchup here, I believe he has All Japan on his schedule, leaving for Japan and within the next few days. And since he is going to be representing NWA Wildside as Wildside Heavyweight Champion, the NWA officials have set aside the 30-day defense limit. They're going to double up his defenses when he returns because as of right now, Hot Stuff Hernandez has a major tour of all Japan Pro Wrestling coming up as Wildside Heavyweight Champion. And who knows, you may even see a couple of Wildside title defenses overseas. That would be a treat. Matter of fact, I hope for the week, maybe we could send Sal Renaro over to Japan. A one-way ticket is my suggestion. Boy, Adrian is going to town on Hot Stuff Hernandez. Don't want to give the champion a second to gather his, uh, well, unfortunately, he gave him a second to gather his wits. Oh, Lord. Thunderous chops. Hot Stuff laying him in as only he can. Adrian goes for the big boot. But he did not avoid the power of Sean Hot Stuff Hernandez, the NWA Wildside Heavyweight Champion, here this week in action against the one-man mafia, Michael Adrian. Low Boy. blow. Oh, looks like Michael Adrian is bending it like Beckham here tonight. Leveling Sean Hot Stuff Hernandez. Which is pretty much the way that the Dark City Soldiers, of which Michael Adrian is the most recent recruit. The One Man Mafia, what an opportunity for this big man here tonight on NWA Wildside. Kick to the midsection by Hernandez. He's got Adrian. Goes for a pump handle. And Adrian counters with forearms into the upper back of the Wildside Heavyweight Champion. And big Irish whip there by Hernandez, boot to the face. Jawbreaker by Hot Stuff. Oh. Goes for the spear, but only it was the ground. Adrian saw that one coming to his credit. And really, Doc Boy, Hot Stuff Hernandez goes sailing between the second and third ropes, landing on one of those massive shoulders. Well, if Adrian wanted an opening against this indestructible juggernaut, then this is his opportunity, because it is very few, it's very few opportunities that you'll find Hot Stuff Hernandez in this predicament. No way. Oh, Lord Almighty. Sending the Wildside Heavyweight Champion shoulder first into the security railing. A quick pointer, Michael Adrian, you're not going to defeat the champion out there on the floor. Senior official Speedy Nelson imploring Michael Adrian to bring the action into the ring. Well, Michael Adrian is sharing a few kind words with somebody at ringside. I believe your opponent is Hasa Fernandez, not the geezer in the white shirt. Adrian breaks the count, coming back out to inflict more punishment on the champion. Oh, and the champion goes sailing once again back first into that security railing. They're real secure. Michael Adrian really risking a count out here, and title hopes will be dashed if it is a count out. Obviously, Michael Adrian is getting lost in the heat of the moment here. Speedy Nelson is within his rights to call this a double count out. But I think Speedy Nelson, much like everyone here at the NWA Arena, Wants to see a genuine winner in this matchup. Oh, my. Dropping Michael a Adrian. leg. Oh, yeah. He is, he is inflicting some hellacious punishment on Hernandez here. Adrian, uh, he's, he's, been, he's been under the tutelage of Murder One. And when that man gets in your ear, let me tell you, Murder One has been mentor to many successful wrestlers here in Wildside. Iceberg being one of them. Rain Man being another. Could, could exotic Michael Adrian quite possibly be the next superstar protege of murder. One, what violent thoughts has that gangsta 
put in the head of Michael Adrian. What kind of sick and sadistic macabre images are flowing through the mind of Michael Adrian thanks to Murder One? We're right now going for one of those rarities, a rear chin lock in this matchup between these two behemoths. And Mike. now an unprotected knee going into the back of Hasla Fernandez, and obviously the back has been the primary target of the challenger here tonight. And Adrian is looking as devastating as I've ever seen him. He was dangerous enough even without Murder One's influence. The veteran of 12 years, Murder One in his ear. Wait a minute, Hernandez not budging on that one. He ducks a clothesline, goes for a hip toss. Reverse Tiger Suplex! Adrian came damn close to landing on his head, which would have sufficiently ended this matchup right then and there. Happily, the momentum carried Adrian over to over to his back. Hernandez has it. Oh, and Speedy Nelson getting way too close to the action. Was it Adrian or Hustaf's foot that got caught up in the face of referee Speedy Nelson? And that's the big boot from Michael Adrian. And what is the one-man mafia doing? He's grabbing the wild side heavyweight championship belt. I'm risking a disqualification here while he's at it. Oh, and Speedy sees it. You don't get to be senior official for nothing. And a tug of war between Michael Adrian and Speedy Nelson. I figured Michael Adrian should win this one, I would think. No, and he there's didn't. the spear from Hernandez. Michael Adrian damn near sliced in half from the Texas Sandstorm. Oh boy. He's about to take a ride on the last train to Texas. Mega bomb from Hot Stuff Hernandez. And Hernandez retains. And coming out like a pack of wild dogs, the rest of the Dark City Soldiers, Murder One, Shadow Jackson, and Todd Sexton, all going after Hot Stuff Hernandez. Well, look at the bright side. At least they didn't interfere during the matchup. I know, it's damning with faint praise, I understand. But now Michael Adrian has some much more fearsome friends than Scotty Smooth, I'll tell you, tell you that. But Hot Stuff Hernandez, of course, when you're a champion, you are, in fact, a marked man. And now he's been marked by the Dark City Soldiers. Oh, God. Big charging boot from Michael Adrian, levering the champion. Here comes Onyx and Slim J. Onyx and Slim J here. Yeah. Two Give gentlemen, yeah, two gentlemen who know the Dark City Soldiers awfully well. Well, I think Slim J would like nothing more than to take care of Murder One. Happily, Slim J was backstage here as well. I believe Slim J is in action next week here at NWA Wildside. Glad you showed up a week early, Slim. That's good. And Onyx, obviously in in the right place hey, at the right time. Hey, you folks just wait. I'm so sick and tired. He just called Todd Sexton Powder. This is directed to you, pretty boy. You think you can come out here to Wildside? You ain't even been out here a week. After Jordan, me and you, next week. You know what? Hey, we can skip the wrestling match. We can skip that. We can hop the little ring on the next side, put on the gloves, and let me beat your ass. Well, let's discuss the matchup he has with Michael Adrian next week here at Athens as we tape this.
I don't think Onyx wants to wait a week to face Michael Adrian in Athens. He wants his hands on the one-man mafia now. But the fact remains, Hot Stuff Hernandez, despite quite a formidable challenge from Michael Adrian, is still the wild side heavyweight champion. I tell you, this is one champion I'm, I am so proud of. The entire NWA arena and wild side fans all over the United States are ultra proud of Hot Stuff Hernandez. One successful defense under his belt and hopefully many to come, fans. But we are out of time. Next week, tune in. Jimmy Rave against Azrael. One on one. Big Eight Man Tag Team Challenge and a whole lot more. I'm Dan the Dragon Wilson. I'm Steven Prazak. We'll see you next week at the nation's number one pro wrestling alternative, NWA Wildside. We'll see you then.